Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, theory malformation, uh, also known as, uh, previously known as uh, ordinal theory uh, malformation. It's where the lower part of the brain pushes down into the spinal canal. Uh, there are four main types, uh, type 1 called theory 1 is the most common. Uh, in someone with the uh, theory 1, the lowest part of the back of the brain extends into the spinal canal. Uh, so this can put pressure on the brain uh, stem, spinal cord and uh, obstruct the flow of the fluid. The severity of the theory malformation can vary from person to person. And, uh, but generally, uh, theory 1 malformation aren't considered life-threatening. Some people experience painful headaches, uh, movement problems, and other unpleasant symptoms. Uh, but uh, many people uh, won't have any kind of symptoms. So there is a chance of developing uh, uh, syringomyelia, uh, where a fluid-filled cavity called uh, uh, syrinx develops in the spinal cord, so which can damage into the spinal cord uh, if not treated prop uh, promptly. You know. Uh, surgery can usually stop the symptoms getting worse and can sometimes improve them, uh, although some problems may remain. Uh, the main symptoms, uh, like many people with the chair one malformation, um, uh, will not have any symptoms, uh, but sometimes uh, uh, they are only found after MRI scan of the brain that there is a problem, you know. Uh, but if there are symptoms they may include like uh, headaches or dizziness and balance problems or neck pain or uh, swollen, uh, I mean, uh, blurred VN or double VN and sensitive to the light, you know, uh, swallowing problems, uh, hearing loss and uh, tinnitus, you know, and feeling uh, uh, sick all the time and difficulty in sleeping and uh, depression. So, if you develop uh, uh, syringomyelia, you may also experience problems using your hands, uh, difficulty in walking, pain, problems with the bladder ball, uh, and uh, bladder and ball control, you know. So, if you have been diagnosed with uh, the Shari malformation, you should contact your doctor for advice if you develop uh, any new symptom of, or if the existing symptom worsens, you know. So, in that case, you should consult your doctor straight away. Uh, the treatment uh, of this uh, malformation uh, depends on whether you have any symptoms uh, or have the severe uh, and how severe they are. In fact, you know, uh, if you, your headaches are severe and uh, you have the problems caused by the pressure on the spinal cord, uh, surgery may be recommended. Uh, the main operation of uh, this malformation is called uh, decompression surgery. So under the general anesthesia, a cut is made at uh, the back of your head and the surgeon removes a small piece of bone uh, from the base of your skull. So they also have uh, removed a small piece of bone from uh, the top of your spine, you know. So this will help reduce the pressure on the brain and allow the fluid uh, in and around of your brain and spinal cord to flow normally. And the next thing is the uh, endoscopic third uh, uh, ventriculostomy, uh, also known as the ETV, you know. It's a small hole is made in the wall of uh, one of the cavities of the brain, uh, releasing the trapped fluid. So this way is the pressure is decreased and it helps. And the other surgeries are um, like uh, ventriculo uh, peritoneal shutting. Uh, it's a small hole is drilled into the skull and a thin tube called catheter is passed into the brain. Uh, and the cavity to trap the, uh, to drain the trapped fluid and release the pressure, you know. Uh, so these are the surgical, most common surgical methods used. Um, and the other one is the spinal fixation. So some people with the HRE1 malformation will have a hypermobility syndrome such as Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and may require surgery to stabilize their spine, you know. And the aim of the surgery is to stop existing symptoms getting any worse. So some people also experience an improvement in their symptoms particularly 
uh, in their headaches, you know. Uh, the exact cause of uh, this uh, Chari 1 malformation is unknown and it tends to be uh, present from birth, you know, but uh, uh, it's normally only found in adulthood when the symptoms develop and when the MRI scan is done, you know. And many cases uh, are thought to be the result of uh, uh, part of the skull not being large enough uh, to the for the brain, you know. So this way it, develop, it, it uh, increases the pressure. Uh, cherry malformation uh, uh, can sometimes uh, run in families. Uh, it's possible that uh, some children born with it may have inherited this condition. Uh, but the risk of passing uh, this uh, uh, malformation on to your child is very small. And remember, even if your child do inherit it, uh, they may not experience symptoms.